Welcome to today's project, Marzen. So, as I pour this beer on this kind of long awaited beer, um, this thing's right at about a year old and looks like it's uh, gonna be a little over carbonated here. So, um, Let's uh, kind of let this thing settle down just a minute while, while uh, I talk about it a little bit. Um, so as I said, this one kind of drug out on me for a little bit, uh, this Marzen project. Um, it's, it's approaching right about a year old, uh, which is uh, kind of on my bad there. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's just one of those projects that kind of ended up sitting in towards the back. I forgot about it for a little bit. It's kind of been in the back of my mind a few times uh, when I start like looking for some of the beers that have been been sitting around for a minute. And I debated because it's been so long to not do this video. So this isn't really gonna be a green to glass video um, like I have been doing. This is gonna be more of, I guess, kind of more like the taste test uh, videos that I've been doing. Uh, just because one it's so old and then two there's a few things that I would do differently with this beer so first off um, this thing came in right at about six percent ABV uh, which um, is, is kind of right there in style we used uh, the amber full body uh, water profile found in Beersmith and I did a single infusion on it I think uh, next time I might go like the decoction route um, this this beer kind of was a, a pretty big uh, learning curve for for, for me. Uh, originally, I wanted to do um, like a Clyke variant. I wanted to use Lutra. Um, at the point in time when I was looking at doing the beer, uh, a lot of uh, my fellow homebrewers and uh, some of the people in my brew club convinced me not to. And that's what started the... Um, that cool fermentation lagering uh, contraption deal that I ended up building. Um, I'm really happy that I went that route. I, I felt like I learned a lot about like lager yeast and lagering and you know just taking your time and being patient uh, with a beer. Originally, like I said, I was gonna just throw a looter at it and, and see what I get there just to kind of fast route it. I was already behind like the, the curb to like normally brew a uh, a marzen uh so i should have probably waited a little bit there before i did it um originally and just done it on time the following year but um it is what it is you know um as you can see it's pretty dang clear there so uh that's one thing that i love about it when I initially bottled this thing, it had uh, that, that green apple uh, ester taste to it. Um, I guess that's a fermentation uh, boo-boo on my part. After about a few months, that, uh, that taste cleaned up pretty good. And uh, it, I, I no longer tasted it at that point. The initial taste test that I was doing, um, it, it kind of finished a little bit sweeter than normally uh, than I, I think is traditional uh, as far as the style goes but um, I mean I've been really happy with this thing especially you know that it's stuck around here for about a year this is kind of one of my uh, some of my friends favorite beer that I, I've brewed uh, yet uh, last year anyways so Go ahead and get some of this over with. Um, it's so the last time I had this beer, it was probably I don't know three months ago or so, and um, I remember it being a little over carbonated. I didn't think it was this over carbonated, but uh, it smells wonderful. I mean, really, really good. Nice and bready and, and malty and and all that things that i think you would normally contribute with um the marzen style 
when I looked at the guidelines <laughs> right before this video to kind of refresh myself on uh, what was supposed to be there. Um, I think we're there on the color as far as the, the guidelines go to, I'm going to say I think that we're a little over carbonated to the guidelines. So um, this one was kind of a fun recipe though that I ended up putting together. The recipe will be in the description, uh, but uh, we used, uh, let's see here, 41.7% uh, Pilsen malt, German. Uh, Munich malt, 9 SRM at 33.3%. Uh, Munich 10 uh, at the 10 SRM for 8.3. Munich 20, 20 SRM for 8.3%. And then the Vienna malt, uh, let's see here, at the remaining 8.3%. I used uh, 20.5 IBUs worth of Magnum. Uh, I saw that like uh, the hop bitterness was supposed to be restrained for the style. And um, you know, you want a good clean bittering hop, what are you gonna use? Probably Magnum. Um, you know, then we, we went ahead and we threw in that Warflock tablet. Uh, the yeast nutrients as, you know, um, is pretty much standard around here for all my brews. Uh, I ended up using the three packets of uh, 3470 for this brew. And um, like I said, this was my first attempt at a lager, uh, very first. Now I've done a few lagers and what's funny is now some of those lager videos and recipes and stuff we've discussed before this one so this one's kind of out of order as far as that goes but this is a this is a beer that I've, I've really have enjoyed uh throughout the year here so again you know the the bratty uh multi uh aromas here Mouthfeel is, is probably uh, light to medium. Um, again, originally when I had uh, bottled this, um, it, I felt like it kind of was like borderline too malty, too sweet originally. It feels like uh, some of that has kind of aged out of it. It still has a nice like crisp crispness to it. Um, you can definitely still taste some of the maltiness there, some of the sweetness. Um, overall, I'm, I'm I'm really happy about this this brew still even today, like a year later. I really wish that I would have uh, done this video, you know, six eight months ago uh, when it was a little fresher. Uh, you can definitely tell that it's uh, not not nearly as fresh as it used to be. It doesn't uh, pop as far as the malts and stuff go. So um, I'm going to brew, brew a Marzen again. It's probably one of my f favorite uh, German lager type beers. I'm not normally a big fan of the German lager uh, beers. I've, you know, I've, I've played around a little bit with, uh, you know, like the Doppelsbach and stuff like that and some other, you know, lagers and, and whatnot. Um, I helped uh, brew a, a couple Doppelbox by now, and uh, that that's a, a style that interests me as well. So we'll be doing one of those uh, pretty soon. Um, now that I think about it, it might be a good idea to say, you know, do a Marzen and then turn around and, and do, uh, you know, either a Doppelbock off that yeast cake or, or a... Uh, doppel off that yeast cake so that might be a little fun experiment to do again you know really happy about that color the clarity of it i know it's kind of gotten a little bit cloudy there it's not quite as clear uh one due to the way that the sun's shining through everything here and then i think i kind of uh roused up a little bit of the yeast settlement at the at the bottom of that uh, 
bottle. Um, but uh, this this style is always one of those ones that I, I really enjoy as far as like uh, the German brews go anyways. So um, without further ado, if you guys saw anything in that recipe you think I ought to try uh, changing or a technique that I should do differently, uh, let me know. This thing took a super long time to ferment out um, and, it, and I, I lagered it uh, in that contraption and uh, man they took a buttload of ice to kind of get it as cold, cold as I could. That's kind of when I started figuring out like that thing struggled you know kind of towards the lower end of the 40s to, to lager. Uh, so I ended up uh, putting it in the keyser to kind of like cold crash it for you know a couple weeks and let it lager there and then went ahead and transferred it out of that. So um, you know that carbonation there is all straight from every bit of that yeast that was uh left in there so that's that's kind of wild but uh you know i mean we all know that there would have been viable yeast there it's just kind of i didn't realize it would be that much um there we go there's some little yeast floaties in there finally kicked it up enough um that doesn't bother me so much though anyways um uh, cheers guys Thanks again for coming and checking us out. Uh, we've had some really good uh, gains as far as the channel. The subscri subscriptions are up and uh, there's more and more of you guys leaving comments and uh, following us on Instagram and, and all that kind of stuff. So um, cheers to you guys for hanging out with me, uh, making these videos so much more enjoyable to make. Uh, catching the live streams that we've been doing that's been fun so we've got all kinds of little things still going on in the background uh we got some really cool stuff coming up here pretty soon so just keep following us you know keep uh spreading that word you know uh we appreciate everything that you guys have done for us uh all the love and the support cheers again to you guys